it's a harrowing case, as you will have seen firsthand. And I think Lizzie has done a, an amazing job with the local police federation in making the case for this change. We do believe that in a case like that, where an emergency worker responding, um, in that case, to a, a suspected crime, uh, apprehending those involved uh, and being killed in the line of their duty, we do think that that should attract uh, a mandatory life sentence. And it's not just the individual case, and I pay tri tribute to Lizzie, uh, but it's also the fact that in the last year, 10,000 convictions for assaults on emergency workers have taken place. So it's not just individual cases, it's the scale of it. And we think as we come through this pandemic and we build back stronger, fairer, in all sorts of ways, um, we should increase the sentences for those attacks and murders or killing, unlawful killings, I should say, of, um, of emergency workers. And we want them to know that we've got their back.